Hi folks, welcome back. Let me give you the rundown on what we got here today. Come with me today. We're going to install one of these gates on a different pasture. We got to move the cows soon. Uh, so we'll be moving them between pastures. Uh, there was a makeshift gate there before. Pretty flimsy, uh, not of my doing. So we're going to replace that. I've already taken that off. We're going to install one of these uh, 12 foot economy tube gates. Uh, so we're going to get one of these on the new pasture. Um, and I'll show you how we do that. Uh, we're going to install it into steel pipe um, instead of wood. These oftentimes will come with wood screws uh, to go uh, into the post. Uh, instead, we're going to get into some steel pipe. So your options there are usually uh, you can use a, a cutting torch to blast through it and do it that way uh, or you can drill through and that's what we're going to do today. Uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, good videos out there when I was looking up the best ways to do this. So I'm going to drop all the information that I have. Hopefully this helps somebody else get this done uh, on your homestead. Just so we're clear, sometimes you're going into a wood post and you're going to have uh, some uh, a screw that goes in. Uh, but instead we're cutting through steel pipe today and we're going to go straight through with one of these uh, J bolts. Okay, folks, I don't know what kind of gate you're going to get, but it probably will be pretty similar to this. Uh, this, this bottom hinge is welded on, uh, so you get one option for that. Uh, you just have to decide where you want to go through and, and go through this pipe and set it in. Uh, for me, the top one is adjustable, so I can, I can adjust it up to a certain point uh, to go on this, uh, this bolt right here. Now we did orient the top bolt downward so that it can't be lifted off. Uh, the cows can't bump it and pick it up and lift it off. Um, now there's a, probably a few different ways you can measure where you want it to go. Um, of course you could take one like this if you have a match. You can just measure from this latch or this hinge to this hinge and get your measurement for your next one. Uh, alternatively you can put it on, you can drill where you want it to go on the bottom you think. Probably offset about that far. Um, from the bottom, drill that one in, put it on, pick up the gate, ha probably have some help, set it up here, get your hinge, decide where you want to drill the bolt based on the hinge. You can move this hinge up and down, uh, but basically you have this, this spot uh, within a few inches that you could probably uh, set your hinge and go through the bolt. It's pretty flexible, but you do have to kind of plan ahead. All right, folks, I'm going to show you what we're dealing with so you know exactly what I'm talking about and there's no questions. Uh, so we got two of our bolts. These are a bit uh, longer than we're going to need, but uh, they can either be left or you can cut them off um, after the fact. Uh, we got our just a, a regular, regular drill here, battery powered DeWalt. Um, but we also have this uh, bad boy right here. This is going to be our DeWalt FlexVolt right angle drill, which is a bit of an understatement. It's more than just a drill. It's This is a, a torque monster with a lot of power. Um, so this is kind of the one that you pull out if you need to get a little extra power, you're having a little trouble, or especially when you get to the bigger bits, this is going to help you. You could probably do it all with a regular drill bit. It might just take a little bit longer. Um, measuring tape of any kind. Then our cutting fluid. Cutting fluid is going to help us uh, cool down those bits. Um, and then we have the this set of uh, Bosch Cobalt. Uh, I do recommend Cobalt, especially the M42, if you're going to be doing uh, a lot of drilling with uh, going through steel pipe. And then also um, I did uh, need one slightly bigger bit, so I picked up this uh, three-quarter bit. This is from uh, Drill America. So this three quarter is going to get us to the size we need to go to get these bolts to go through that pipe. Um, uh, there was not a three quarter in the Bosch, so I just picked this one up and it worked. Uh, so it did work on the last gate. Hopefully it continues to work on this gate just fine. So let's get started. All right, folks. So I double checked, I triple checked the measurements. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do on center, eight inches, and then plus 38 inches. Uh, so it'll be the, the bolt going through on center, eight inches from the bottom, and then take that eight, add another 38, and that's where we're gonna do the second one. So we just have to work around this barbed wire, but it looks like it should be perfectly good. 
So we got eight there. Eight plus 38 is what, 46? So we're gonna go up. Right there to 46, so we should be good. Let's get started. We're gonna work our way up. I'm gonna start with one eighth inch. Might have could have started smaller, but this one should be fine just to get us started. But we do need to go through both sides of the pipe. So we'll see if we can get all the way through. We can get our cutting fluid out. Gonna go eight inches up, try to stay on center with the other gate. And by the way, we are doing the hinge point on this three pole corner instead of the other side, which is only two pole. So I feel like that would be better support, plus that's the way we want it to swing. So be careful which way you're going to make it swing. All right, we're in the first side. Let's see if we can go out the back side here. Okay, we just made it out the back side, just barely. With that drill bit. Not really long enough, but I stuck it in there on the very end so it would be long enough. Did just fine. All right, we're gonna go up a size now. stuck all right folks that's what we call fun times that drill bit was stuck there was so much torque on that trying to go through that pipe that it that one eighth bit it just got stuck I had to go get a pipe wrench to get this drill bit out fun times right, let's try this more and right, we're just gonna go up a size I like to take it pretty slow, but you can skip a little bit. You can skip a level or two. 5.30 seconds. Now we're going to do 5.30 seconds. Hopefully this one doesn't get torqued up. Let's do it. Oh, there we go again. Pipe wrench time. All right. Oh, let's go a little bit slower. That 5.30 seconds is a bit much. Let's try it. Okay, take two, we're gonna do 964. We're in that first hole. Oh gosh, it is not doing good. We're gonna go up a size. I think it's uh, getting caught in the hole. So we're gonna go bigger actually. It's been a while since I did this, so. Not sure which sizes work best. Yeah, I think we're, so what you wanna do is you wanna scratch the hole, not necessarily drill the hole. So maybe we were too small, getting caught in the hole instead of scratching it out. There we go. This, this is uh, 316. Okay, that's that worked much better. Scratched it out quick, went through, no problems, did not get caught. So that's perfect. Let's go all the way through the back side. Awesome. Now that worked a lot better. And we didn't get caught, so that's good. There we go. Alright, let's go up. We're gonna go to 
Train 732nd. I'm smoking. Okay. Might as well go to a quarter. Sometimes you may need to skip if you're too small. But if you skip too much, it's gonna be very difficult to scratch that hole away. So it depends on the, the chamfer on the bit, what kind of uh, success you're gonna have there. Once you get to a certain size, you can see when it hits the back, you can, you can see in there and that you're hitting uh, the bit right in the hole. All right, now we got the 5 sixteenths. If it starts smoking, try not to breathe that cutting fluid. There we go, 3 eighths. Cutting fluid. just a little tricky kept putting the catch I do have this on the drill setting so it's it's all torque so just be careful with your wrist if you're doing that but uh, I find it helps to get through here you know, I don't think you're gonna get through here with any of the torque settings without it you know what you're doing all right now this should be a half inch So this is the part that starts to take a while when it starts to get a bevel on it, it doesn't want to scratch as easily. Woo! There we go. Woo! That's just the front hole. Man. To a half inch front and back here. Time for the three quarter bit. All right, we'll try it in this drill bit first, see how it goes, and then if it's not working, we'll switch to the right angle. The other advantage the right angle gives you is it's got the sidebar on it to not torque your wrist, break your wrist. Ouch. Okay. I think we're going to switch. Not that we couldn't do this, but it's hurting my wrist. All right. Here we go. more on the back side and then bottom hole is done and ready. Let's do it. Eh, I should probably use some cutting fluid though. Yeah, this 
see if we can get it now. Might be able to tap it through. We're through. We just gotta get this bolt in properly and that three quarter got us there, but it uh, definitely was getting stuck at the end because just the, the curvature of the metal getting stuck. This is, I believe this is a five eighths. Um, I believe it's a five eighths bolt. That's why we're getting through just shy of three quarter drill bit. So there we go. One down. Let's tighten this one up here. All right, one down. That was fun. Okay, folks, just to show you that that bolt on center is going to be right about there. So we're looking at just below that hinge. All right, there we go. And then right up here, anywhere around this area, because this one is movable, but I, we're, we're targeting on center about 38. I started to question our measurements that this was 38 on center because it was too high. But then I realized that we're coming in from the top. So our next bolt is gonna come and point down so that the cows can't lift it. So our measurement should be correct. 38 inches on center from this one. I'm gonna make a mark. Okay, now we're coming in on this mark. We just want to be on center with the other one down below, pretty close so that the gate isn't a little bit wonky. Uh, so we're just going to try to line that up straight with the post and eyeball it too. All right about there. I'm doing the one eighth bit again. First hole. Let's see if we can get it out the back so we don't have to drill a separate hole and try to line them up. That's all we needed just to punch through. See our hole. There we go. All right, three sixteenths. We said we went too small before, so we're going to go a little bit bigger. To scratch away instead of drilling away. If that makes sense. There we go. That's right through. All right, 1364. Too easy. You got 1564. That's too easy. Right, quarter inch. Yeah, too easy. And five sixteenths. I'm actually wondering if this metal up top is softer or maybe older, rusted. All right, three eighths. I haven't even been using cutting fluid on this one. It's going pretty easy, so half inch. The jump from three eighths to half inch is substantial when it comes to getting this to go through. Voila! Only thing left is three quarter.
Okay, folks, for me, that was a 9 16 and a carriage bolt, just loosening that bolt and letting the hinge slide. I probably shouldn't do that to your wrench, but there you go. All right. That shouldn't be going nowhere. Uh, we're ready. All right. We're going to see if we can prop up the other side of the gate with this. Just as a helping hand. Temporarily. Ready. All right, a little too high, but we can probably bring it down a little bit. Right about there, a bit safe. So I'm just looking at the gate to see how parallel it is. It's pretty nice where it is. So we're just loosening up these nuts to be able to move it into place give or take right there you can always adjust it a little bit later after it's on too All right, folks, it's hanging. We got it cranked down, it's working, it's looking good. Okay, folks, I think that video might have cut out at the end, so I got a little extra clip here just to show you what it really looks like up close. You can see the gap here is very even, going up all the way to the next bolt, like that. So we just cranked down those nuts, going, uh, you know, cl regular clockwise, righty-tighty on both of them to make them tighten up. Um, I did pull on the gate to make it come this way a little bit. That was, it takes a little bit of muscle to get that, to do that, uh, by yourself. Just pull on it and yank it and make sure you have some slack to tighten up that nut. Uh, that got it more parallel. Uh, so you can see here, it's looking pretty good. Nice and parallel. If you can tell from the, the ankle here. So, and then this gap is pretty straight too so we're going going up doesn't deviate it's about what five inches all the way so it's pretty straight both horizontally and vertically right here so we are in good shape Folks, we're done. It's practically spot on level. We eyeballed it, but it came out practically perfect. Um, the other thing about this is we made sure that the gaps were consistent on both sides. So going straight up, uh, you know, this side is probably from the from pipe to pipe about five inches. Same thing on the other side, about five inches all the way straight up and down. So this thing is perpendicular, horizontal, parallel, all the above. Um, We'll, we'll probably come back and cut those bolts off 
uh, but definitely not a hurry. It's not getting in the way of anything. Um, one thing to note is we did uh, on the top bolt go in at a little bit of an angle, which I'll show you. Uh, not a big deal. Really didn't affect anything. Um, but I mean, so if you do it and it doesn't come out perfectly level, that's fine. Uh, it'll still bolt on just fine. Um, I got it latched over there. We'll come back and put a better latch on here and uh, maybe even a wheel just to help it out. But it's just temporarily closed right now with a piece of wire. Um, but overall, it, it went about as I expected from the last gate. Uh, not a super fun time. Uh, a lot of drilling, very much a lot of drilling. Definitely sped it up for you guys so you don't have to watch every second of it. Um, I think your sizes are a little flexible. You can probably change uh, whatever size you want. Uh, if you find that it's getting the bit's getting stuck, probably go up a level because like uh, you'll see in the video, I describe a, more of a scratching motion, scratch the metal off instead of drilling it out. Um, if, you're, if it's going too slow, you might have a bit that's too big. Uh, might have to back it down a little bit, but uh, not a hard job. Uh, you know, definitely a do-it-yourself sort of thing. Probably helps to have a second pair of hands just to hold on to the gate. Um, so, this I got video. This little guy was eating a little blackberry plant. by the gate over here. Hi. All right, folks, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps. I really hope this helps somebody because I, I had trouble finding uh, a detailed video on how to go through pipe, get those bolts in, what to do even, you know, um, if you're starting from scratch, not having done this before, uh, there's not a lot of videos out there really even describing the approach. Um, so there's a lot of videos on the, the wood screw type, but not not uh, metal post. So I hope this helps someone. Uh, top tips would be, you know, make sure that you know which way it's going to swing. If you have an option, go for the stronger bracing in the corner, the corner brace, the corner of the fence. Um, you know, make sure it's parallel as much as possible. Second pair of hands, probably. Uh, Try to be straight on the on the bolts going through, but don't worry too much if it, uh, like ours, turned out a little bit of an angle. Um, you know, either way, horizontal or vertical angle, it'll be okay. Um, tighten those bolts. Use a pipe wrench um, to tighten those. Uh, one last thing: uh, get yourself some uh, five eighths bolts. Um, I think that's a pretty common size with these uh, J bolts for the the fence hinges. Uh, you're probably going to want to oversize it and go up to the three-quarter uh, bit, but uh, in our case, we didn't actually finish the three-quarter size all the way through. We got it just stopped uh, shy of three-quarter, just enough to get the five-eighths in, um, and get yourself some cobalt bits. Um, I looked at them when we're done, and this is the second gate we've put in going through steel pipe. They look brand new. Uh, you can't even tell that they've been used hardly. Um, so those cobalt bits, M42 is amazing. I haven't tried the M35. I'm sure they're probably good, but the, the 8% M42, uh, fantastic bits. I uh, really love the Bosch. The Drill America uh, work fine too. Um, pretty much just like a Bosch, I would say. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit more scoring on the bit, but that's about it. Uh, give us a like if this helps you. If you like this video, click subscribe. Uh, I would love to know if somebody else does this and uh, I, would, I would love for it to turn out that this helps somebody because uh, it was hard to find a video about this exact topic, uh, at least one that was very detailed. So uh, stay tuned for more. We'll be back soon on Homestead, y'all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>